today we are going to be talking about our SynMed Assist solution. Our SynMed Assist solution is our partially automated blister card filling uh, device. With this solution, you can semi-automate the filling process of your blister cards in your environment. The way the system works, it is based off of the trays that you see on the table here. The trays in the system dictate which cards can be used within your environment. So we are a card agnostic solution. Uh, just depending on what your needs are, the tray form factor dictates which cards you will be using. Now each one of these trays has multiple barcodes on it to help drive the workflow streams that we're going to talk about today. Uh, but then we also have our SynMed Assist PC in the equation as well as a verification station which would be sitting on that table with the other tray. We'll talk about the workflows here uh, as we go through the system. Whenever we have this SimMed Assist in your environment, we will interface with your pharmacy management system to get the data into our unit to be able to process the cards appropriately. So whenever we receive that data into the system, you will select which job you want to produce. When you select that job to produce, the system will actually print out what are called tray labels. These tray labels will be assigned to the tray that is filled with the blister cards. So the blister cards are placed in this tray unit empty by the technician. They then select that job they want to fill on the tray. After selecting that job is when it prints out the actual tray labels. Those tray labels are again applied to this tray that way. Your staff and everybody in the workflow streams know what cards are associated to this tray. With that, the workflow the technician, after printing the labels and applying them to the tray, they will actually scan one of the tray labels. After scanning that tray label, each one of these trays has a card label on it. That card label is letting our system know which cards you have in that actual tray. That way we know how to display the information and fill the card appropriately. With that being said, you would scan that tray label. After scanning that tray label, it's going to populate a list of the drugs that are needed for the cards on the tray. Depending on your workflow, you can either get these ahead of time when you're associating the job, or you can your staff, your technician can go get those drugs now. So you have some flexibility depending on when you want to accomplish certain tasks. But it will list all the drugs you need for the cards uh, on the tray. After uh, getting those stock bottles for those drugs, technician will select next and it is going to ask your technician to scan one of those stock bottles. When they scan that stock bottle it is going to light up on screen the cards and the locations in those cards that need that particular drug that you just scanned. Your technician at that point will go through and actually fill those blister cards. After filling the blister cards with the appropriate medication in the appropriate cell, they will confirm that they drop those drugs in the appropriate location. After confirming if that's the entire tray, they will actually get a report if needed. If not, they will just move on to the next drug in the list until they fill the entire tray. Once the tray is completely filled, the tray will be physically moved down into the sealing and verification area in your workflow. Now this section here, whenever the tray gets moved down to this section, your staff will print out the actual uh, labels for the cards. We do provide a Lexmark printer and that is where these labels will print out of. So these labels are customizable uh, depending on your card manufacturer does dictate the customization options that we have but they are customizable to a certain degree. Your staff will print all the labels for this tray at that point and then each one of these labels is going to have a barcode on it. The staff will scan the barcode next to the card on the tray and then scan the actual label that is associated to that card to do the verification to make sure they have the right label for the right card at the right time. We do a cold press seal with our system so at this point the technician would literally peel off the sticky parts or non-sticky parts of the label to adhere this to the actual blister card. Now these, most of these do have holes in them as well. We have little clips on the tray that those holes line up to. So after peeling the label off, the staff will just line up the holes. That's going to line up that label on the card. And then we have the roller to actually seal. So again, we use a cold press seal. The technician will then seal this card with the actual roller. After doing that, you will have a completed filled blister card to be able to send out to the appropriate patient at that time. 
Now, one thing we didn't talk about yet was pharmacist verification. With our system in place, there are two ways to deal with pharmacist verification, depending on uh, how you want to drive that activity. The first way that I've seen done is once this is filled, it gets handed down to the pharmacist. The pharmacist does their true PV2, their pharmacist verification 2. Yes, this has a tenolol, gabapentin, metformin in it, whatever it may be. And they'll just handle that entire process. The other way that you can drive verification in our workflow stream is a two-step process that includes a technician. Another way we see it done is that at this sealing and verification stage, the technician will actually do a quantity check. That quantity check is exactly what it sounds like. They're just going through and making sure that each cell has the appropriate number of drugs in there. Usually if it has the appropriate number of drugs, the drugs are correct. So they'll go through and just validate the quantity, seal the card, and then hand this off to the pharmacist. In that workflow, once this is handed off to the pharmacist, the pharmacist is just validating that yes, that is gabapentin, yes, that is metformin, and yes, that is atenolol, or whatever that scenario may be. And then there is a third option where the pharmacist does the verification before a card is even sealed. So you do have a lot of flexibility in the verification workflow stream depending on your needs and your staffing model. Outside of that, that is the high level overview of our SynMetasys system.